everyone, this is Jeremy from MyConsultantTraining.com and in this video I'll be showing you how to get all the Usborne book titles into your Square account. So on the blog post here, scroll down to the form, type in your name and your email address and click the download the Square file button and this will email you the Square file. So if you go to your email you'll get an email that looks like this so in the email click the get get the file button and then you'll see a web browser window pop up the file will download on my I have a PC so this will go to my downloads folder so you'll see the file here um, it may be different if you have a Mac or your downloads go to a different spot but uh, that's what you should see when the file gets downloaded uh, so after you have the file, then you can go into your Square account. So when you're logged into your Square account, you'll go to Items. And then you will click on Import. Click Replace Item Library. Click Next. And then click Select It from your computer. And go to your Downloads folder or wherever you put the file click the file and open upload so then this screen here is where you're matching the square product attributes to columns that are in the document uh, most of them should populate automatically uh, the only ones you'll see down here if you have locations enabled you'll see your different locations here so um, all these price ones should just be set to the price column and then the new quantity stock alert these can all just be left as none and then in the locate so these are two locations that I have set up in my account so to have those items show up in that location you will wanna click the yes location enable if for whatever reason in your Square account you have Usborne plus some other business and you only wanted the books to show up in your Usborne location then you would click the no location enable but in my case I'm gonna have them go everywhere so I'm gonna set it to the yes location enable once that's all set click confirm click continue and overwrite and then it'll import that file this can take a couple minutes so after it imports you'll be back on your item list so if you have taxes set up then the next thing you'll want to do is go to taxes and click apply tax to items and then from here in my case they're already all in here but if you if this is the first time you're importing the file all of these will be unselected so in that case you'd want to click select all and then hit apply to items and that will make sure sales tax is applied to all those items so um, you can double check it if you go back in there you'll see they're all selected after that so that's it to get all the book titles in into square for you so uh, the cool thing about how this is set up, it's got the SKU appended to the end of the item name. So if you wanted to use a barcode scanner at your events, you can uh, just scan the, the barcode on the back of the books and it'll automatically search for it in here and it can help you speed up uh, checking people out at your booth events and whatnot. And we have a couple other blog posts, one about tracking inventory using the barcode scanner, and then one about connecting the barcode scanner with your phone. Uh, so those, there's links to those two other blog posts in this one, so check those out if you're interested in using a barcode scanner. And that's all I got for you. Thanks for watching.